Hey everybody, what's going on? AMF 1534 here. Let's play some more Fear. And I have to confess something to you guys right about now. So, let's uh, let's talk about something. So, for the next episode, or in a half, or maybe two episodes, it's not going to be blind, um, and I'll explain. I was filming the uh, two new episodes today, actually. Um, but what I came to find out is that I accidentally... Um, had plugged my desktop microphone into the wrong into the wrong uh, plug-in in the back of my computer because I, I actually uh, decided to clean out my computer the other day you know, a whole can of compressed air and the whole nine yards the only problem is, is that by doing that I uh, accidentally plugged my desktop mic into the wrong port and then the next two episodes that I filmed I didn't realize it until it was way too late and so we're definitely not going to have the blind run experience here until a point later to be mentioned, but we're still going to have a good time here. I mean, there's plenty of things to talk about in these next two episodes, I can tell you right now, because for whatever reason, the robotic menace decides to show up here. That's what that whole blue light thing was all about, which I know that you guys heard me kind of making a big thing about that, because I was like, what the fuck is that blue light all about? Well, there we go. The blue light are like these weird things that I would expect to see in like a portal game or something. Don't really know what that whole thing's about, per se. And I just have to try to avoid dying from them, because let me tell you what, when I was filming this initially, I was having one hell of a struggle. I died so many times, which is actually kind of a good, kind of like a blessing in disguise right now, because those, at least this episode in particular, when I filmed it, was so, so ugly. Come on, baby. I've also not had very good luck trying to kill this thing. Not to, actually, that went over quite well. I'm actually not mad about that whatsoever. See, this is... Yeah, we're going to have to, in a minute, we're going to have to go back and get our other gun. But we got to go out here. This is the part that I don't like, though. got to deal with these two that come popping out over here. Come on. Bring it to Papa! I mean, it's a terribly efficient way to do this. It's, it's working very well. I actually came to find out that that's the way that you should do this after about three deaths or so. And now that we got that out of the way, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go go back and pick up our other gun here. But yeah, we've had quite the eventful day so far. It, it really sucks that it took me until the end of filming two full episodes to find out that I had done something stupid. So I apologize for... You know, they're not being the blind run experience in these next two parts. Especially because these were two really awesome parts, too. And I, I feel really bad. But I I would much rather go back and refilm it again and it not be blind than for me to do post-commentary on it. Because then you, you totally lose out on the whole thing. Like, I mean, I, I understand it's not a blind run anymore for a little while, but... Doing, I, I've, I've never really been big on post-commentary. Like, I tried to do it once, and it just it seems so awkward. Like, you totally lose the entire Let's Play experience when you're, you know, going back over what you just played to explain it. That becomes more of like a walkthrough, I suppose, than a playthrough, because you lose a lot of that genuine reaction type stuff. And then, you're like, you're sitting here like, oh, when this happened, this is what I did. Well, nobody wants to know what happened when that happened. They wanted to see what happens so, yeah. You know, and luckily there weren't any, like, crazy moments where things jump out at you that would have gotten a large scream or anything out of me. So, I don't, I don't have to feel, like, completely awful in that respect. But uh, one thing that I didn't mention to you guys back, uh, back in the very beginning where I switched out guns for the uh, submachine gun is that that copier down in there was totally like copying stuff by itself but not shooting out any paper it's like it was possessed or something okay I know there's another one of these old Jack of in here yeah suck on my bullets you're going to die yeah and that's that <laughs> like a little flaming core coming out of there alright I know there's another one around here somewhere too I know that we do get back to fighting real people. Yay! Back to real people! God, I would hit... Oh, gosh! Man, both of those guys got quite the jump there. Squad check in. He's coming to get us. God, 
gotcha. You had no hope of survival, my friend. And I know there's a guy over here. Well, there was at one point or another, but apparently not. Okay, let's. I know there's another one of the blue guys. Yeah, fucking blue man group right here. Yeah, I love. I do. If, if there's anything I do like about these things, because I. For lack of a better word, I don't like many things about these little machine things. But I do like the idea that they do have really cool blue shockwaves when they explode. And I, I can... I'm a guy that can appreciate that, if anything, in this episode. Because there's not a whole lot to be excited about. And they must be protecting something pretty damn important if they're going to be, you know, throwing out all the robot guys. Oh, good. The question is, is that our helicopter or is that somebody else's helicopter? Because we are kind of like the mystery people that nobody seems to know about. And it's all good. So actually, this is where um, I would have ended the first episode that I made. Surprising that it took me an extra, you know, six minutes to get to where I wanted to go. And we can actually go up here into the eighth floor. Why? Because I said so. We're going to have to go back down, though, because there's something quite important down there at the, be at the bottom of this flight of stairs that we're going to have to deal with. Flashlight! Flashlight. Recon. Recon! And you, my friend, are dead. Come on up and meet your demise, Mr. Man. I know there's two of you. I know there's two of you. Check in. Can't go on that door, by the way. You just can't do it. Ha 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 ha! Woo I love knowing that I killed a man. And I don't mean that in the really creepy version, or like the creepy sense of like, I love killing people because I have an inner serial killer in my brain. It's not the case. In this game in particular, I love killing people because I love seeing their bobblehead actions. When I did this the first time around, this guy right here was just standing facing the wall like this. Like he was, you know, trying to hold somebody hostage or something. It was really stupid. It's like, why would you do that? What's the point in that? We're going to have to go that way pretty soon. But not yet. Not yet, I say. So you can't go in there, but this reflex booster is right here. And I will take that. Okay, so it is increasing the bar a little bit. Actually, that was something that I, that I asked myself and the rest of you guys when I got it last time. I was like, so is this actually... It actually does increase it a little bit. I'm very pleasantly surprised to hear that. I really am. You have two new It's such a cheesy line. Oh, good. But yeah, there's been plenty of stuff going on today, though, that I can talk about. Primarily most of it being of college basketball, because that's, you know, it's that day. <laughs> this part. Look at this. Open up! She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. That guy will be flying towards the ceiling when he comes. He's gonna break his neck, cause he landed really awkward, and we're gonna go kill some more dudes. Yeehaw! <laughs> He'll be throwing a grenade in the garbage. I'll be coming around the corner shooting him in the face. He'll be dead and I'll run on through here and go get some body armor. Yeehaw! Yep. Yeah, I, I can sing. Even though I wasn't singing, I was more like talking, but... What of it, you know? No big deal there. These guys are gonna have to hire some great... Oh, it's disappearing blood. It's like a magic trick. 
But yeah, there's been a lot of stuff that happened today. There's some big upsets in the college basketball world. And there was a uh, Iowa State beat Kansas today, which was like totally unprecedented. It's like the second time this year that Iowa State's beaten somebody that they had no business beating in the world of sports. Ow! Well, that wasn't very nice of you at all. Yeah, they beat number five Kansas, which is crazy because their basketball team is not even that good. So how they managed to pull off that one, I have no idea. Oh, he's still alive. And now he's not. So that was interesting. I woke up and I was like, oh, damn. But I, you know... That's, and I woke up at just like an hour or so ago. I mean, I was outrageously tired. I think there might be a guy in there. Hey, there sure was, and he's now dead. His face is plastered all over the walls. I'll take that penetrator ammo as well. But yeah, so that, that happened. And then um, Pittsburgh is beating Georgetown right now. Another top 10 upset to an unranked team. But it's not I'm not a done deal yet, of course. I mean, that one's still kind of in the works. But, I mean, if it continues to be like it is right now, then it's going to be some, some crazy shit. Oh, they are. They are, and we're going to be the ones to find it out. And there's a guy right here! I mean, it's a pretty, it was a pretty clever place for that guy to hide. I'm going to be honest with you. Had I not known he was there, like, the first time I came in, I came in right around this area because I saw guns right here, but then I saw him right there. He didn't see me, and so I just went and totally just wrecked him. <laughs> I, yeah, I went up to him and I buttholed him. He wrecked him. Third dimensional thinking, of course. What the freaking hell is this? Uh, that's really weird. It's got a mind of its own. It's possessed. There we go. That was a lamp. That was really creepy. That didn't happen the first time around. That was absolutely really awkward. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna go through this elevator here, and then that is where I will call this episode done. Just because I'm trying to, you know, hold symmetry here. But um. Yeah, the other big thing in college basketball that happened is that the University of Towson won their first game in 42 tries. It was either 41 or 42 attempts. They were 0-41 or 42, which is, I think was an, a Division I record. I have to go! I don't want your guys' help that would keep me living. Oh, there she goes. She is a terrible parker. That was one of the worst parking jobs I've ever seen. Whatever. Of course, she'd be the only person in this entire complex that would have, you know, that actually drove to work today. Apparently, everybody else came in by helicopter. Okay, guys, so when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Fear, we're going to plow through this little parking garage here, and then we will try to get back to where, uh, to where I actually ended off the second episode that would have made it a blind run. So... When we come back, things are going to be back on track. So you guys take care. Thanks for watching this non-blind episode of, of Fear. I'm sorry that I screwed the pooch on that one and I had my desktop mic plugged into the wrong device. So we'll, uh, we'll take care of it. But hey, it was something though, right? So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.